Hello and welcome to the video preview for the latest issue of Netcoms Europe. In this issue we're going to be focusing on the issues and developments currently surrounding racks and enclosures, pre-terminated systems and universal power supplies. Now you're going to hear a little bit about what you can expect from two of the contributors to this issue. Hi, I'm Phil Turtle, founder and managing consultant at turtleconsulting.com, the data centre and networking infrastructure public relations specialists. In the latest article in my bi-monthly series in networking and data centre magazine Netcoms Europe, I'll be explaining how to write a press release that editors will absolutely love. It's ideal for anyone wanting to promote their own business. For example, integrators and installers, resellers and consultants. Plus, of course, PR officers in larger companies. Like everything in life, there are ways that don't work, ways that sort of work, and ways that people like ourselves at Turtle have spent decades fine-tuning. So much so that our best testimonials actually come from editors. And it's fair to say that the majority of editors that I meet really can't stand or dislike PR agencies. So I guess we must have found the magic formula. And that's what I would want to share with you in my new article. So based on this, the editor at Netcoms Europe asked me to write a series of tutorial articles to explain some of the how-tos and some of the what-not-tos in relation to PR and marketing to help you to promote your business in these difficult recession times. A rack is a rack is a rack. Oh no, actually it's not. Hi, I'm Matt Goulding, Managing Director at Canon Technologies the Tier 4 Data Centre Rack Cooling Security and UPS Specialists. In my new article in Netcoms Europe, I explain why it is that the humble 19-inch rack or cabinet is no longer a trivial commodity with little real consequence, why the rack has now become a critical component in the function of every data centre, why the rack now has a major influence on cooling efficiency, achievable equipment density, power monitoring, real-time equipment health and cabinet level security. In fact, I'll explain why it is that the wrong choice could massively affect the operation and running costs of your data centre in years to come. I hope you'll enjoy reading the article and bringing your own understanding of the once humble rack up to 2012 intelligent rack levels. That's all for now from me, Matt Goulding, Managing Director at Canon Technologies. Oh,